Hey, how are you? Lisa Marie Rosati here, international health, wellness, and lifestyle goddess. And I'm here to talk to you about um, a really, I'd like to share with you actually, a really, really powerful coaching tool that I use with my clients. Um, it is so simple, you're not going to believe it. Perhaps you've heard of it, perhaps not, but that's what this video is for, to share it with you. It's called a gratitude journal. And I encourage everyone to start a gratitude journal. It's as simple as purchasing um, a, a book, or perhaps you like a notebook, but like here is one of mine. And you could see it's really beautiful and colorful and the pattern really spoke to me. So I decided to purchase this one and a really great pen to write with, something that's comfortable. And well, if you're like Lisa, you can't do anything without these anymore. So mm, that's part of my little gratitude journal kit uh, to get things uh, going. So what you do with the gratitude journal is every night before you go to bed, you write down at least three things that you are grateful for that happened to you that day. Now, what does this do? You know, what's the purpose of that? Maybe you might be thinking, and there's, there's a lot of purpose to it. Number one, it redirects your mind to things that are positive. Studies have shown that most people, or people in general, uh, think mostly negative thoughts. I think over 80% of our thoughts are negative during the day. Wow, that's, that's a lot. And, and that might be a good reason that people are so down and out all the time. Uh, people tend to concentrate on what's not going right. Have you ever noticed when, when things go smoothly in a day, you don't even really notice it. You're just like, oh, good, I had, you know, things went smooth today and everything's copacetic. We only really get in an uproar when things don't go our way. You know, our Zen gets messed with. And uh, one of the reasons we, we do the, the gratitude journal is to redirect our mind every night before sleep to what was new and good and wonderful in our day. It does not have to be anything monumental. It could be an entry as simple as, my morning went smoothly, I had no snags, there was no traffic going to work and I'm grateful for that. Or perhaps you got a phone call or a text from someone you haven't heard from in a long time. That's a nice thing. Uh, it could be the fact that the sun was out and it was a gorgeous day, like by the way it is today on Long Island, New York. It is stunning and 60 degrees. And right after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna go hop in my car and get outside for some fresh air. Uh, with the window open, of course. So, um, again, don't overthink it. It's just really um, just redirecting your mind to nice, positive things that happen during your day. You want to do this right before you go to bed. So, I always suggest, I'm a strategy type of girl, leave it on your nightstand with the pen and uh, the glasses. Leave everything on your nightstand so you don't have to get up. I used to not want to keep things out and stuff and, you know, I wanted everything tidy in a way. But what I found was I would forget and I'd get in bed and then I'd be like, oh, I don't want to get back up. So I wouldn't. So this strategy works really, really well for me. Leave it there. Get a gorgeous book, a gorgeous pen. It's beautiful. It'll look decorated. Maybe perhaps it could match the decor in your room. So really go with it. And like I said, at least three things. Now, the really great thing about this is, believe it or not, those positive thoughts float around in your subconscious while you're sleeping. And it, it has been shown to provide more restful sleep. And it really redirects your mind towards positivity, which we can all use some of that, right, today? these days. Anyway, um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really, really hope you decide to begin a gratitude journal practice. And I would love it so much if you would share with me below and leave me comments about, you know, what you, what you found uh, changed in your demeanor and, your, and your, your basic outlook on life after journaling in a gratitude journal every night for a few weeks. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye.